Hello and welcome to the first in the tutorial on use of LabChart, uh, LabChart Pro, LabChart Reader and Microsoft Excel to do uh, data analysis of human physiology practicals. Uh, this is a tutorial set designed for both BSc and MSc students. Uh, we'll start fairly simple and work our way through a number of data files showing the uses of LabChart and Excel to do some analyses of data. So. We'll start uh, by just showing you the data sets we're going to be using. Um, incidentally, I'm going to be using LabChart 7 Pro, which is the fully fledged commercial version of AD Instruments LabChart. Um, you'll probably be using LabChart Reader, which is the free version. It's the one that's available on the pause machines and also the one you can download free from the AD Instruments website. Uh, just to let you know, I'm using the Pro version, just in case any windows pop up that you're not seeing on your machine. Um, but this will allow me to do uh, saving, which of course Lab Reader cannot do. So there'll be some important notes during this about getting your data into a program like Excel in order to do your analyses offline um, without having to sit there at a pause machine with LabChart open for the rest of the, uh, the week. So there's LabChart Pro that I'm using. The first of the data sets uh, we're using is this data set. This is isometric exercise using a hand grip uh, dynamometer. Uh, this is three sets of, of data acquired by this system. The first is grip force, which is measured in kilograms, and this is the, uh, the grip force from the, um, from the transducer. We've then got blood pressure, which comes from a finna press, and we've got heart rate here, which is um, actually given by the finna press as one of its analog outputs. So this is not a derived variable, this is actually from the finna press, and you can see it follows uh, changes in heart rate. We're going to be using this uh, to look at data pads, to look at some of the binning uh, and some of the uh, offline analyses of data. We also have another data set, which is a dynamic exercise data set, a little bit more complicated. Uh, this is from an MSc practical. We've got systolic, diastolic pressures uh, taken from um, a phenometer. We've got heart rate, which I believe is taken from a phenometer as well. Yep. We've got car and monoxide end tidal and oxygen end tidals taken from a gas analyzer, uh, taken from the mouthpiece. We've got oxygen saturation, SAO2, which is taken from a, a finger uh, SATS monitor. And then down the bottom here, we've got respiratory flow, uh, which is taken from um, a respirometer. So here's all the numbers we have for this data set. Uh, but we'll start with the uh, simple data set, looking at the grip test. Uh, and we'll go on to the next tutorial um, and looking at navigating around files using these data.